Welcome to Familypreneur, the podcast for parent entrepreneurs raising kidpreneurs. It's time for your weekly dose of inspiration and actionable tips to build your business and find better balance, all while strengthening your family. And now we'd like to introduce your host. She's my mom and the bomb.com, Meg, Meg Brunson. Hey there, thanks for joining me on another episode of the Familypreneur podcast. Today's guest is a transformational life coach and speaker who specializes in helping people recognize their full potential of who they are created to be and empower them to clarify and carry out their purpose. She believes there is power in knowing who you are. And I'm excited to introduce you to Jenny Shubring. Jenny, thank you so much for joining me today. I am so excited that you asked me to be a part of this. I can't even tell you. Well, I'm excited that you said you would be a part of it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, your presentation, the, the title of it, it focuses on alignment-driven audience building. There is a lot of talk about alignment out there. I feel like it's one of those like super trendy words. Um, and I'd love if you could just give us a quick little peek into what exactly alignment, like what does it mean when we're talking about a marketing plan and what does it look like for us as business owners? I think, like you said, it's something that we oftentimes kind of overlook because it doesn't have that direct ROI. You don't, if you do this, that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to make money. So we kind of just miss it. And yet it's so important because it's at the core of who we are and then what we're going to bring to the world through our business. So um, the importance of it, it keeps us focused, it keeps us driven, um, and it and it keeps us from other parts falling apart because we haven't taken the time to build that. So it's kind of at that core foundation that is so important, but easily missed. And it's funny, just right now I was thinking about, it's kind of like before you date somebody or get married, like you have to know yourself first. Like you have to figure out who you are before you can, or even like fill up your cup, you know, you have to know you before you can Mm -hmm. help other people. Absolutely. And I think um, we, if, if this piece isn't there, you know, when we think of like a car and the alignment and keeping you in the right direction, but more so than that, like if, if one of the tires is off, not only does it take you off track, but it's so easy for things to break other areas and that it has a ripple effect and it's a subtle ripple effect but one that can actually make things crumble. And we don't want that in our businesses. That's why it's so important that we spend some time on this. As somebody who's been on the side of the road with a broken axle on her RV, I can promise you that alignment is important and it will mess up your day. (laughs) Don't have it right. Right. So true. So So what else can attendees expect to learn from attending your session? A couple of things. One, we'll talk about the importance of knowing your strengths and all parts of your strengths. So not just, we talk about the power of your strengths, but we talk a little bit about your shadow strengths, which we don't like to talk about because it kind of exposes parts of us that we're not fond of. And then also, which I think oftentimes gets missed is how our strengths can be misunderstood by other people. Especially in marketing, when we're putting ourselves out there, we want to understand how our strengths, which are so ingrained in us and seem so natural, might not be presented to in a way that other people can receive it. So being able to understand how we can be misunderstood in our strengths is really really important. And then we'll also talk about values and how that's at the core of who we are. And again, knowing that part of us so that we can be intentional with our decision making and then take those two things and put in, look at how our businesses are put together. What is your, your mission? What is your purpose? And are your strengths and values being utilized in, the, in those parts that are so core to our businesses? Because if they're not, your business isn't going to be sustainable as far as how, what you can bring to it because you are not standing in the things that invigorate you and make you you because we are part of our business whether we like it or not (laughs) and what are we presenting to the world and that and we need to know what we're presenting to the world in order for us to put the message out so that the right people are hearing the message that we have to give 
Yeah. And value, like value work is actually what I think brought us together. I mean, we knew each other, but it's what what brought us together to like, for me to work with you a little bit the first time. And I came to you with values. So I kind of want a disclaimer here that you may have, you know, your mission, your vision, your values, they may all be on your website. Um, So you may think that this isn't something that you need, which is kind of where I was at, right? But but things change, your focus changes, your values change. You touch on that, you know, in your presentation. Um, and so I think at least annually, this is a good kind of exercise to go through to make sure that you're still aligned, you know, as we're doing our annual plans. Um, this is a session that you're not going to want to miss because you want to make sure that you're still aligned with, with all your goals and values. Um, now, at the summit, as I've just kind of talked about, we're focusing on the on developing a marketing plan specifically for 2021 so that we can make next year um, a better year than this year probably was for most of us. So can you share your experience with why planning is essential for business success? Yeah, I will tell you, I am not a planner. <laughs> it is not something that I love to do. Um, it is not one of those things that invigorates me that we talk about in the, in the summit, but I will tell you, it is so important. It is so important because otherwise, um, I do think that this is one of those things that makes uh, a business, a, deciphers a business from a hobby, like to have a plan. What is your goal for your, your mission, your, your business? Is it, um, is it honoring your values? Is it honoring your strengths? Are you able to be yourself in there. So being able to really look at this, adding um, this audit almost like thing for you to see if those things are, is part of your plan. Um, If you are putting together a plan and your values aren't being honored and your strengths aren't being utilized, I'm sorry, I, business is work. But I love my business and I, it, it's fun for me and I love being able to do it. And if, but that's only because my values are being honored and my strengths are being used. If I'm in a business that is not that, I, why? <laughs> like for me, why bother, right? Like, right. Um, and, and so kind of to, to really be able to, to make sure and, and check your alignment and being able to move forward with those things in mind um, actually, that's where so often we're money driven, which is great and, and part of why we do business. But when we start having these core pieces together in your planning, that's actually when the money starts coming because we are bringing our true selves to the world and we are attracting the right people. Awesome. Well, you have so much more value to contribute and you're going to share it all with us at the Organic Marketing Summit, which is happening November 9th through 13th. Over the course of that one week, attendees will be building their 2021 marketing plan alongside over 20 industry leading experts like Jenny who are invested in their success. Tickets are completely free for this event, so be sure to head over to OrganicMarketingSummit.com and reserve your free ticket. Do it right now before shiny object, you know, appears and you get distracted. You do not want to forget this. This is going to be essential for your success next year. Thank you again so much, Jenny, for, for taking some time out of your schedule to be with us today and for contributing at the summit. I'm so thrilled, and thank you for putting together such an amazing group of people and the people that you attract um, is just, it's inspiring to me too. So thank you. Thanks, Jenny. And we both look forward to seeing you at the summit. Bye for now. Head over to OrganicMarketingSummit.com and grab your free ticket to the Organic Marketing Summit today. It's happening November 9th through 13th and you definitely don't want to miss it. Bye for now. Do us a favor, share this podcast to a friend. It's like my mom always says, sharing is caring.